Hello everyone, uh, we're going to do a static analysis on this plate 2 millimeter stick that is loaded axially with a force of 10 kilonewtons and um, with a hole at the middle of the first section of the plate and that hole diameter is 8 millimeters. I have created the, the model already so let's jump to the simulation. So this is the model. So let's go to simulation. Let's create a new study. We can rename this um, static analysis. Let's hit OK. Let's apply a material. We're going to select a um, a brittle a brittle material this time. So let's go to no metals and ceramic. This is according to the problem. Now let's apply some fixtures. Fixed geometry, we are, we are fixing this face right here. So select that face and uh, let's hit OK. Now we can apply the uh, external force. And if you remember, that force is acting on this face of the plate. So we just need to reverse direction and uh, the units are in units so we need to make this 10,000 units we can increase the the size of the of the symbol we can even change the color okay so now uh the next step is let's create a global a global mesh this is a pretty small component so let's make a fine meshing for the global component so now if you notice um, there is a discontinuity of the cross-section area right here because of the hole so there is going to be a stress concentration so we need to refine uh, the mesh at this circular location to obtain a more accurate result. So let's up, apply a um, a mesh control. So this will be a uh, a mesh control on this location. So we can select the the face that we want to refine. In our case, will be the inner of the hole, and we can make that fine as well. Now create mesh and hit OK. Hit yes. So now you can see that the uh, the inner face of the circular hole is um, has been refined. Okay, so now we can um, we can run this study, and after it finishes running, uh, I'll be back. So now that we have the simulated results, we can go um, to the results and right click and let's define a uh, stress plot. So right here, since this is a brittle material, uh, we are not going to use the von Mises stress. We're going to use the first principle stress. Let's change the units to uh, megapascal. The deformed shape, we want to see the true scale of the deformation. And let's select the maximum annotation. Let's select this to flooring and decimal places. We can make that one. And let's hit OK. As suspected, the, the maximum um, stress is happening at the, at the circular hole because of the stress concentration happening at that location according to solidworks this value is 398 megapascal so let's take a look at the at the theoretical values to see what we obtain uh, we apply a k factor this is a stress concentration factor of 2.5 and we multiply that by the um, by the stress calculated uh, and we obtained 390 megapascal. 
So that value is pretty close to the simulated value. Uh, there is a small percentage error, but still within the acceptable range. Finally, let's take a look at the material properties um, to see if this plate is going to fail when applying this load. So we can just right click and apply edit material. So let's change the units to uh, megapascal so we can read this table. So um, according to this table, the tensile stress is 172 uh, megapascal. That means that the plate will indeed fail after applying this load uh, because the, this stress, 398 megapascal, is higher than the tensile stress equal to 172. We can apply, let's close that table. And uh, this is how you perform a static analysis for this type of problems. And this concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.